Now you have your website, you just need to add the actual store component to it. Again, this is very easy thanks to tools that practically automate the process for you. The only downside is that there isn't much of an obvious choice when it comes to your e-commerce store. That is to say that no single e-commerce platform stands out in the way that WordPress does. You know, it just means you need to think a little and pick the option that suits your needs best. This video will help you to make that choice and then talk you through the process of setting up. OK, let's look at the top e-commerce platforms that you have to choose from. Remember in the last video when we said that you had the option of a hosted WordPress site? Well, you also have the option of choosing either hosted or self-hosted e-commerce platforms. And just to reiterate, a hosted e-commerce platform is one that we stored on an external website rather than your own. That means you'll create your store a little like you would a profile on a social media site. It means less work, but it also means that you'll have less flexibility. Here are some of the top hosted platforms. Shopify, which you'll find here at shopify.com, or if you're in the UK like I am at the time I'm making this video, it'll redirect you to the local site, which is shopify.co.uk. And there are other local versions of it as well. And it's all to do with the currency and the taxes and that sort of thing. Um, but Shopify is by far one of the most popular e-commerce solutions around. And it's one that nearly everyone's heard of. Like WordPress, it comes with a huge amount of support, plugins and themes, meaning that you can tailor it to your exact needs and meaning that there are plenty of ways that you can boost your sales. Some of these plugins let you do powerful things like tracking your visitors and integrating email marketing or like selling digital products and delivering them automatically. It does lack some of the customization of hosted solutions, however. For example, there's no option to create your own custom checkout page. In terms of products, Shopify can support up to 5,000 different items, which is more than enough for most purposes. The basic Shopify membership is free, but you might need to pay if you want to upgrade to some of the more advanced features. Still, it's not prohibitively expensive. Big Commerce is hosted much like Shopify and is also suitable for up to 5,000 products. It's another solid choice, but it falls a little short of Shopify thanks to a higher price point. Moreover, Big Commerce is less well known than Shopify, meaning that it doesn't have quite the same number of plugins or features. If you want to create a store that is in any way unusual, you should probably check first to make sure that Big Commerce can support whatever it is that you're planning on doing. Big Commerce has one big advantage though, and that's that it provides excellent support for international payments right out of the box. Now, this might be a big deal if you plan on saying to the US and the UK and you don't know whether to price your prices in GBP or US dollars or that sort of thing. As they do have quite a lot of support for that. And you can find out more here at bigcommerce.com. And finally, there's Magento. Now, Magento, which you can find out more here at magento.com, is one of the best hosted solutions around in terms of its customization and features and is an excellent choice if you want to build something very unique with lots of power under the hood. This is the option that the big businesses with lots of money and tons of stock will want to use. You know, if you have aspirations of taking on Amazon, uh, in which case you're mad, but anyway, Magento is the best non-custom built option. Magento supports up to 50,000 items and is installed independently from your WordPress site. The downside is that it's very fiddly and confusing if you're a new user. So in other words, unless you have a good development team behind you or you're a developer yourself, you should probably stick with something easier, you know, at least to begin with. And this is a point we should quickly make. When setting up your business, always think about the path of least resistance. You know, don't make extra work for yourself just because you want the pride of taking the less easy route. You know, it's not good business. Focus on keeping your overheads, both time and money, low and getting quickly to the point where you can reliably start making money. You know, don't let ego get in the way of good business sense.
Hosting your e-commerce solution on your server is probably the most popular solution. The only downside, of course, is if your web server crashes, you can lose all your orders, so it's best to back up at least once every day. Now let's look at some of the best self-hosted solutions. The first one is WooCommerce. And WooCommerce, which you can find out more here at WooCommerce.com, is the self-hosted option that we would recommend. And what makes this such a great choice is that it's actually a WordPress plugin. And this means that you're not installing anything extra at all. And the whole process of setting up is incredibly simple. There are free and paid for versions. You can install the free version from within the WordPress dashboard like any other plugin. Just do a search for WooCommerce and you can install it. Or you can upgrade to the paid for version, which you can install from their website, as I said here, WooCommerce.com. Um, for most people, the free version is going to be fine uh, just to start up with. And then once you've started to build your business, you're making some sales, then it's worth investing in the paid for version. Now, of course, because this is a plugin, this does mean that your store is going to replace the website that you already had. And this means that you need to consider this right from the start or you need to set up a secondary domain for your shop and then link the two together. Note that even if it does replace your site, though, you can still have a blog on the store. You know, um, that It doesn't take over that particular part of the site. Now, WooCommerce has tons of support and an endless number of themes and other plugins. And this will make running your store significantly easier. And it makes it another great choice from a business perspective. One limitation of WooCommerce, though, is that it can only stock 500 items max. Now, this won't be a problem for most businesses starting out. But if you have plans to expand, then it's something that you might want to consider. Volusion, which you can find out more about here at volusion.com, is a WordPress plugin, but it's also somewhat unique in a number of ways. And that's because it isn't just e-commerce, but it's also an email autoresponder and a whole lot more. Volusion lets you track your visitors and your leads and see who's looking at your products and who's reading your emails. Volusion is something that many internet marketer types might feel quite at home with, but note that it's not particularly powerful or feature-packed when compared to other e-commerce solutions, and it's only really suitable for a small number of products.